Welcome everyone and thank you for watching. This video series is going to cover a large request I've had to cover a community builder and um, I guess it's only fair to start with what community builder is and what it can do for your website. Um, to start, community builder is essentially an enhancement on the user manager functionality of the core of Joomla. And let me open this up here. Under your standard user manager that comes with Joomla um, that people can fill out and register and confirm their email, you've got name, username, email, and password. And you get to set their permission with what group. That's basically it. Community Builder puts on top of this um, pretty much an endless platform in which to create profile features for new members, for member lists, for new users, and it goes well beyond, like I said, what the core of Joomla provides. To get Community Builder, you'll need to register at this site, Joomla Plus, Joomlaopolis, I guess is how you can say it. Um, the registration is free. If you want to subscribe to their documentation, you can. That's what is um, a fee-based subscription type service, which I would recommend you do it simply because this is an incredibly powerful platform, um, and, and you know these guys deserve the support for for all the hard work that they've done. Uh, but before we dive into this, before I go into each one of these sections found up here. As with everything, it's very, very important that you have a written out plan and idea of what you're wanting to accomplish. And the reason why you want to do that is because when you do, all of a sudden these sections appear list management, plugin management, field management, tab management, user management, all these, the configuration, the tools, um, make better sense and you'll have a structure in which to work. Um, and, and the reason that's also so important is because this platform mathematically gives you unlimited variations or ways that you can use this um, community feature. You can use it like a social networking site, much like LinkedIn or MySpace or Facebook, even where users can communicate with each other or let's say you're a band website and you want to have a list of users that each gives a biography or profile of the band and likewise you want to allow members or band members, band fans, to also register with your site and create their own profiles and kind of promote user retention and engagement that way. If you're a company, another good example would be to have a profile for each of your employees. And you know, the next question from that is what information do you want to show? What fields do you want to have? What fields do you want to make mandatory, optional, give descriptions to? The, the, the list goes on. So um, without trying to overwhelm you by saying that, I'm just letting you know and I want to illustrate the point. It's very important to, like I said, get a piece of paper, write down exactly what you want your users to see, uh, the information you want to have on there, like their address, their name, their email, their their website, or these fields you're even going to you know, offer. And of course it's got to be applicable to your business model. And because no business model is exactly the same, um, there's probably not going to be any application that this is used for in the same way. In fact, to date, and I can say this very confidently, I haven't had one client that has used Community Builder out of the box, um, nor have they configured it in, in exactly the same way for the same purpose. So, uh, with that being said, that's kind of this video is just served kind of as an overview and to let you know that this is an extremely exciting component. Um, it's one that is worth time and learning and using because it can and add an incredible amount of user interactivity and uh, user retention to your website. Um, but also understand, you know, the the uh, other side of that coin is because it's so flexible, because it's so powerful, because there's so many options, there is a learning curve. Um, and a system like this generally requires some form of moderation. So, you know, you just have to be under, you know, re realistic and understand this is going to take some management. This is something, of course, you can assign the role of to other users or other people within your organization. Um, but understand that if you're going to incorporate this kind of usability into your website, that typically you want to have some form of moderation. So um, the community that you're creating, whether it's employees or fans for a band or 
just user profiles or even if you're using it uh, for internal reasons um, you know to consider some form of moderation and some management on this is going to be probably just a realistic um, need so with that being said we'll wrap up this video um, and we'll move on to the next thanks for watching this concludes this tutorial